What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So your guys' support on the video lot yesterday morning was absolutely insane. It was a cross between NBA and MLB and you guys seem to really, really love it. So you know what? It's going to come back and it is coming back today full swing. And if you guys like this, because you guys know, I love all of you guys. Every single one of you, no matter what game you're here for, I love all of you. And I love the fact that now I can kind of incorporate different games. So if you want me to keep doing this, obviously, obviously I'll still have like just NBA and just MLB videos. But if you want me to keep incorporating, smash that like button, kill the subscribe button. The subscribers are crazy. We're closing in on 240,000. Let's see if we can do that today. And you guys saw the title. Ken Bartolo Colon hit a home run before Shaq hits a half court shot. Now this is gonna be a lot of fun because both of these things are gonna take a while. None of this is just gonna happen on a dime. The other one was like 45 seconds. This one's gonna take a little bit longer. Bartolo Colon is up first because the MLB did win. Hashtag MBA if you're, if you're on team NBA. Hashtag MLB. MLB is up one to nothing. Let's see if NBA can tie it up and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so here we go. I'm ready with Bartolo. I'm gonna show you guys the settings. We are on beginner difficulty just because of the fact his stats are so low. It would take us absolutely ages to do it on any other difficulty. I'm going to be using, let's go directional hitting. And yeah, I'm all ready. As soon as he kind of comes set, I am going to be starting the clock. And that is right about now. Okay, Bartolo Cologne. And that's gap. That's gap, but that's not a home run. And we got to hit the ball a very, very long way. To get it out of this park i just kind of picked this park at random i wanted to make it fair i didn't want to have any favorites so i was like you know what let's just pick this park i don't know much about it but let's see if bartolo can hit a bomb here and not a great start if you're wondering why he's number 43 is because this is actually a hitter you can't just like give bartolo like the pitcher guy you can't bring him to batting practice so i had to like remake something that looked exactly like him and the fact because Bartolo is already on Atlanta it just makes it like it's not easy it's not easy to create the same guy and I forgot to get rid of him off the other one so that is why we have this predicament here okay that's right down the middle that's right let's go that's that's a home run isn't it that's a home run isn't it oh my gosh 53 seconds yeah that just happened in 53 seconds okay let me just take one more swing you guys know I like to do a couple extras just to see if we can get to. I'm going to do two more swings and we can talk and process this. So just to put this in perspective, I did this challenge a while ago and it took me like 20 minutes to make it happen. The fact that we got that, because I bet I could continue doing this for like 10 minutes and I bet I wouldn't hit another home run. So Bartolo and the hashtag team MLB, he came to play today. He came to play, but now it is time to switch. I'm going to do one more hit with the man the myth the legend the bartolo cologne is that going to there's no way that's getting down like beginner difficulty obviously does wonders but he's still his stats are really really poor and i picked a tough stadium like these walls are like huge these walls are absolutely massive okay now i'm putting the controller down we are about to switch and shaquille o'neal has did a half court shot in under 53 seconds Ah. I don't know if the, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I honestly don't know if it's gonna happen. I I feel I felt like this was a pretty even challenge though, and I would not put it past Jack to somehow pull this off. And I'll see you in NBA in three, two, one. Okay, guys. So Shaquille O'Neal is up. His settings are also on rookie. I wanted to make it completely fair, and he has to beat a time of 53 seconds. Obviously, at the end, if it's really really close, I'll make sure to get like the video review where we get the exact times. Because it's more accurate when I edit it because I can start it as soon as I say like go, etc. So Shaq is up. Either way, we're going to go until he makes this. So if it takes him an hour, probably won't be here an hour. But his clock is going to start right about now. Shaquille O'Neal. Let's see if he can do it under 53 seconds. This would be impressive. I'm not going to be super nitpicky about the line. Like obviously he has to be just around half court to make this. Oh my gosh, 13 seconds in. 13 seconds in. You guys better be spamming NBA in the chat right now if you want Shaq to somehow pull this off. Oh, that's nice. Okay, what are we at? 23 seconds right now. Maybe that'll be lucky because it's the Jordan time. Okay, get it back to Shaq. Get it back to Shaquille O'Neal. And those are so close. Honestly, man, those are so incredibly close. And it's really, really hard to maneuver Shaq around just because he is so big. 
and is so like uncoordinated on this game so it's really difficult to move him around oh my god <laughs> these challenges so far have been my favorite videos ever man like oh my gosh are you what we gotta get the replay wait i gotta grab my i always do this like some people they just like scream for some reason it's like in my head now that every time i get hyped i have to automatically throw my controller like it's just a thing with me now so at like 43 seconds or 40 like six seconds when i'm thinking this is all done we got to go back through all of this shaquille o'neal decides okay what is it come on Go to the shot. Go to the shot. Shaquille O'Neal decides to be, and it actually was a half court. Like he started there. And like I said at the beginning, I wasn't going to be super picky about it just for that reason. Like I wanted to make it realistic. He comes up and just crushes the switch from half court. And I got to say, when I decided to do these challenges, these crossovers, I did not expect them to be this fun and this amazing. I could see this being like kind of, Maybe even the new direction of my channel. Not everything, but like this is just a ton of fun. You got the two like MLB fans on one side and the NBA. And now this series is all tied up for the next episode. Let's 3,000 likes. Now that's crazy. And I don't know if that's going to happen. And even if it doesn't, there'll still be another episode. But if you guys really, really like this, I'll continue to make these. But you got to let me know what should round three of this be. And if this is your first episode, just know that Mike Trout went up against Steph Curry in the last year, which was crazy. Go follow me on Instagram, at BrettBQB. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'm going to just put like a little bit of a replay montage after this so you can see both shots. And wow. Absolutely just wow. I can't believe that that just happened. Thank you all once again for watching. And I will see you wonderful people in the next video.